Pierre de Chardon wisely stated that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. A simple way to think about this is to state that we are spirit, operating a human body with access to tools or faculties, namely our mind power, our willpower, and our emotions. We are not our bodies. We have a body. Or you could think that the body is the physical manifestation of spirit. We are also not our minds. Our mind is a tool that we use to make decisions. And when it comes to our willpower, we are not the will. We have a will, and you can think of the willpower as your discipline muscle. We are also not our emotions. We have emotions. Emotions are energy in motion. Think of your emotions as your spiritual dashboard. Kind of like the dashboard on a car. For example, in a car, if you see the check engine light or the battery light, come on then, you know that that is what you need to investigate. Similarly, we must then investigate our emotions and this is what we call emotional awareness or emotional intelligence. Now in today's video, the emotion that we're going to focus on is confusion and confusion is a lack of clarity, hence it is uncertainty. Confusion is a state of being bewildered or unclear about someone or something. Hence, if someone evokes the emotion of confusion in you, then at minimum this should be an orange flag and at most a red flag. If someone evokes the emotion of confusion, it really begs the question that why don't they evoke the emotion of clarity? why not lucidity or coherence in today's video we're going to delve deeper into why pathological narcissists evoke the emotion of confusion in people and today's video was inspired partly by m scott peck's book people of the lie M. Scott Peck is a former psychiatrist and best-selling author of such books as the road less traveled and People of the Lie, which is a book that I'm referencing in today's lesson. In chapter 3, The Encounter with Evil in Everyday Life, Scott Pick writes that evil people will evoke two main emotions in you. Number one is revulsion and number two is confusion. What is revulsion? Revulsion is a powerful emotion that causes us to immediately want to avoid to escape the revolting presence. And that is exactly the most appropriate thing for a healthy person to do under ordinary circumstances when confronted with an evil presence, to get away from it. Evil is revolting because it is dangerous. It will contaminate or otherwise destroy a person who remains too long in its presence. There is another reaction that evil frequently engenders in us, confusion. Describing an encounter with an evil person, one woman wrote, it was as if I'd suddenly lost my ability to think. Once again, this reaction is quite appropriate. Lies confuse. The evil are the people of the lie, deceiving others as they also build layer upon layer of self-deception. In today's video, I'm going to share with you six reasons why pathological narcissists may evoke the emotion of confusion in you. Narcissists evoke confusion in people through various manipulative tactics designed to distort reality and create a sense of chaos. Understanding these manipulation tactics can shed light on the perplexing nature of their behavior. Let's go ahead and delve into these manipulation tactics. Number one, gaslighting. Gaslighting is a psychological manipulation technique in which narcissists subtly sow seeds of doubt in a person's mind. They deny facts, rewrite history, and manipulate events to make the victim question their memory, perceptions, and sanity. This constant undermining of reality leaves the victim deeply confused about what is true and what isn't. 
Number two, projection. Narcissists often project their own flaws, insecurities, and misdeeds onto others. By blaming others for this exact behavior they exhibit, then they create confusion in the minds of their victims. Victims might start questioning whether they are the problem, even when they are not. It is important that you understand that pathological narcissists live in a delusional reality. It is a false reality. It is an alternate dimension. This is because you're dealing with people that live predominantly through their ego. And in the intro of this video, I mentioned that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. We are spirit operating a body with the access to different tools such as our mind power or willpower and our emotions. The ego essentially is a mind made construct. It is a figment of somebody's imagination. It is a thought. If pathological narcissists believe that they are their ego, then they believe that they are their mind. And that in itself doesn't make much sense because again, your mind is a tool that you use to make decisions. So if pathological narcissists believe that they are their minds, then that means that they are losing their minds. This is why at one level, this disorder is classified as a mental illness. However, understand that what you're dealing with is much more severe than a mental illness. It is a psycho-spiritual disorder. The third manipulation tactic that you must look out for is the double bind. Narcissists use contradictory messages that place the victim in a no-win situation. For example, they might criticize a person for being too needy, but then also criticize them for not being affectionate enough. This conflict in feedback creates confusion, making it challenging for the victim to discern the narcissist's true expectations. All of this is because pathological narcissists operate by moving the goalposts. You are not supposed to win. You are involved in a losing game. There is another video on this channel which goes into detail on why pathological narcissists move the goalposts and I will link that here if you want to check that out. The fourth manipulation tactic that you should look out for is word salad. Narcissists often employ a technique known as word salad where they use a jumble of words, phrases, or circular arguments that make little sense. Essentially, the communication becomes convoluted and nonsensical, leaving the victim utterly bewildered and struggling to comprehend the conversation. Number five is intermittent reinforcement. Narcissists alternate between periods of affection, praise and love bombing, and moments of criticism, belittlement, and emotional withdrawal. This unpredictable behavior creates confusion as the victim can never predict the narcissist's reactions, leading to a constant state of unease, uncertainty, and confusion. Number six is their manipulative charm. Narcissists can be incredibly charming and charismatic, especially during the idealization phase of the relationship. This charm can make it difficult for others to reconcile the kind, charming person they met initially with the manipulative and hurtful behavior they experience later in the relationship. This again causes confusion about the narcissist's true nature. In summary, Narcissists evoke confusion in people through a combination of gaslighting, projection, contradictory communication, nonsensical language, unpredictable behavior, and manipulative charm. By understanding these tactics, individuals can better recognize the signs of narcissistic manipulation and work towards protecting themselves from the confusion that these tactics create. Understand that if you're dealing with a pathological narcissist, they exist in a reality where up 
is down and left is right. Everything is inverted. You are not dealing with someone that is operating out of spirit. They are operating out of ego. Hence, truth inverted becomes lies and their charm is a mask for deception. Pathological narcissists are people of the lie and not only are they lying to you, they're also lying to themselves. Wait a minute! Who are you? If something or someone evokes the emotion of confusion in you, then there needs to be further investigation because confusion oftentimes is the precursor to deception. As always, good people, if you appreciate the content, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, Go ahead and leave them in the comment section and I will see you in the next lesson.